things like ECMS monitoring templates. So alerts, review, issues, all those things we can find out in the CCMS monitoring templates here. Here we have the templates here. CCMS monitoring templates are there here. CCMS monitoring. So this is also one of the monitoring actually. Here using this monitoring templates here, alert monitoring, we can find out the number of monitoring sets. So background processing, buffers, how the system is behaving. So all those things, so we can monitor it here. All those things we can monitor it here. Technical expert operation modes. So we can check the how the system is behaving here. So like how the system is behaving here, NW1. So where we have the alerts in the system here, like whether the uh, database self-monitoring, self-service monitoring, background monitoring is red. Here we can check it out why the database self-service monitoring is red. Database self-service monitoring is red. Here, what is the alert here? Function call, exception, available. So here we need to enable the nodes here. Then we can find out what's happening in the system here. So there is a CTMS concept, domain controller, then domain underscore, domain underscore, there is an issue here. The transports, there are the transports. One transport does not match the component version in the system. Normally, did we get this one anywhere? No, right? So this type of issues, we may face it here. So this is the issue we have in the one of the transport requests here, right? Remaining all are okay. So fine. So this kind of uh monitoring nodes alerts alerts configuration purpose we have this one ccms monitoring alerts taking the alerts but nowadays everybody have the solution manager some other third party tools as and when required any alerts generated any issue then we will get the alerts here we will get the alerts to the here so system kind of monitoring here monitoring the so you monitoring using the ccms here ccms means computing center management system so it provides a special more alert monitor for the sap netweaver systems ecc systems all those things we can monitor to all the components in the sap system we can monitor it here so we can also use it to identify the different categories of the system errors application errors various interfaces namespaces components so queues skews all those things we can do that one here so only thing is here so so we need to uh email id so all those things like uh, we have to do that one but uh we can monitor it that's uh the, we can also check it out here all the things here we can, these all are the templates monitoring sets here so if you want to check it out respectively based upon your system so we need to enable the, first of all, we need to enable the node, monitoring node, we have to enable it. We don't have the trick system. It's not the ERP system. So then it's not the GRC, it's not the GDS, it's not the CRM monitoring. So if you go to the monitoring templates, CCMS monitoring templates here, we have templates are there here. So dialogue or process overview. So if you enable it, this node here, there is a enabling option here. And that's also, we have to enable it some, somewhere. We have to enable the node so that if you enable it, empty node, select it, display the details, add the analysis method. We have to do the activate activate there is some activation wrong back we did it here well, system node we have node node activations we have to do it here specific template we have to do it otherwise if you go to the monitoring technical monitoring expert monitoring we are almost already there here so we can get the all the information here not this one somewhere we have seen right on the monitoring local application servers yes this is the one so you can see by default it's enabled already here we can check the availability the background job service here what background jobs free background work process here there are the less background work process are there here when we have this alert here right 17th today today at uh, 8 40 we have the less background jobs now prime now fine here you can see the alerts how many alerts are got generated here. So CCMS by default, it will be enabled some of the monitoring functionalities here. How the CCMS 
how the SQL server, next, what is the error messages we have here? So transports, monitoring, morning infra, then this is the one, what is this here? This is a, so this is having error. On 307, this is having some errors here, right? This is having some errors in the third, so now it's okay. So data supplier, what is this data supplier? Okay, SLD data supplier, this is having errors. So we need to fix, by checking this one, we need to check all the errors and issues. We have to check it out one by one, one by one here. So data archiving, what is the NQ process? So then transports, just kind of monitoring, just it's not much that much of important, kind of monitoring, what is the VM container basis system here? So then, buffers what is the buffers initial record buffers here so we can check the buffers here how the buffers are behaving so some kind of so monitoring monitoring the our sap systems using the ccms so that kind of so monitoring we can do it using the crj20 is the transaction code to check the ccms monitoring and all those things functionalities we can check it out here central monitoring central monitoring we can also do the customized monitoring but nowadays everybody using the solution managers some other tools they are using it here so no one is using the ccms so so that's why it's not that much of important but okay so suppose like some kind of so we can monitor the number of users also we can monitor it how many users are monitoring in the system as per the system configurations right how many logged on users so how many, what is the profiles? See here, how many errors we have identified here, right? Normally we won't check. If you go here, so we can see the, all the errors and everything. We can check it out. All those things we have checked it here. So that kind of, uh, it will be helpful to do the, uh, some, uh, to do the, so monitoring of the systems and everything. We can, it, it will be helpful actually. Remoting server application, server status. So something, someone is not displaying means we have to enable, we have to enable the, the functionalities, we have to enable it in the systems. So that is the CCMS monitoring here. So for Solomon alert monitoring, if there's any uh, document like how emails are triggered, how, how we can um, configure alerts. Uh, uh, I think, yeah, I will share it. Let me check and I will share that one. Yeah, I will share it. I will share it. Okay, sir. Separate small man person will do it, but I will show it anyhow. I will share it. This all those things. Like uh, accepting the alert and uh, confirming the alert options are there, right? Right, 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 right. It's there. It's there. Uh, but. Uh, uh there is a document i think i will just check it out and i will send you okay sir performance monitor performance monitor dialogues how many dialogue or process response time few times someone ask you so can you check the response time of the dialogue and then directly we can come and we can ch also check this one. Operating system level, CPU utilization, all those things, then we can come and we can check it out. So this kind of screenshot, if you provide them, it's clearly giving the green, 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 today's date, timelines, all those things is clearly providing all the information, right? So this kind of things, so we can, we can, we can provide to the, we can provide it so that we can provide it. CCMS monitoring templates. 